Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we're diving into something super useful for the GTA modding community. A step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create an open interior mod for GTA San Andreas. Whether you're building for a single player, MTA, or SAMP, this guide will walk you through the essential tools, workflow, and tips to bring your own interiors to life. Let's get started. Step 1. Extracting the model. Using MED. For the first step, we'll be using a tool called Map Editor, MED. This is mainly to extract the model we want to modify. Start by searching for any house, building, or object you'd like to turn into an open interior. In my case, I'll be using a small trailer park, which I plan to transform into a custom interior. Once you've found your object, simply right-click and choose Extract, then save it into a specific folder. This will give you the DFF and TXD files, but keep in mind it won't include the COL, collision file. To find the corresponding COL file name, just right-click the object again in MIDI, and it will show you the exact name of the collision file you need to track down. Step 2, extracting the KOL file. For this next step, we'll be using Altsy's IMG editor to extract the KOL file for our object. Start by opening your GTA3.img archive inside Altsy's IMG editor. Then search for the KOL file name you found earlier using MED. Once you locate it, simply right click and extract it into your working folder. This gives us the full set of files we need, DFF, TXD, and COL, to start building our open interior. Step 3. Importing the DFF into 3DS, Max. Now it's time to jump into 3DS, Max using CAM scripts to import the DFF file we extracted earlier. Make sure CAM's DFF importer is properly installed, then go ahead and import your DFF model into the scene. One important note, before importing, make sure you've set the correct path or format for your texture folder. This ensures your model loads with the right materials. We'll go into more detail about texture setup and material workflows in the next tutorials, so don't worry if it's new to you. Step 4. Modeling the Interior In this step, we're going to begin modeling the interior of our object. First, I start by detaching the windows and doors. These parts can be reused later. Next, I hide parts of the model to make it easier to work inside the mesh and create space to build. Now, the actual modeling process begins. It can be time-consuming, so I'll keep this part short and simple. I'm currently building the interior walls of the trailer. There are many ways to approach this, but I usually prefer to extend polygons from the existing edges around the windows and doors, then connect those faces to form the interior structure. Throughout the process, I'm keeping in mind basic 3DS Max techniques and making sure to keep the model low poly for in-game performance. Since this isn't a full 3DS Max tutorial, I'll fast forward the footage and let you watch the modeling progress.
Step 5. Texturing the interior. Now that the modeling is done, it's time to move on to texturing the interior. For this step, all you need is a good texture library. In my case, I'm using the original GTA San Andreas textures to stay consistent with the game's visual style. The process is simple. Just drag and drop your textures onto the model, then use UVW mapping in 3DS Max to adjust the scale, position, and alignment. Take your time to match colors and texture styles. This helps the interior feel natural and immersive. It doesn't need to be complex. Just focus on making it clean and cohesive. Now that we've finished texturing, it's time to move on to pre-lighting our interior model. I'll be using a simple method for this. Start by selecting the vertices of the new geometry, then assign them pre-light values manually. For daylight, I use a value of 120. It gives a nice balanced light. For nighttime lighting, I usually set the value to 30 for a softer, dimmer look. And that's it. Once the pre-lighting is done, our model is fully prepared. Now it's time to move on to the exporting process. Step 7. Exporting the DFF and COL file. Now that pre-lighting is done, we're ready to export our model. First, make sure your interior is properly attached to the main model and that everything is fully textured without major issues. Next, using CAM's script, export the DFF file. Just a tip, don't overwrite the original model. Keep it as a backup in case you need to revert or reuse parts later. After exporting the DFF, keep a copy of your model in the scene and assign it a KOL material using CAM's tools. Before exporting the COL file, increase the brightness of the surfaces. This makes the collision easier to spot and interact with in-game. This is just a simplified version of the collision file creation process, enough to get your mod functional for most uses. Step 8. Preparing our KOL and TXD file. Our KOL file is almost ready. In this final step, we'll be injecting our new collision into the original COL file. Start by opening the original KOL file we exported earlier in the video using COL Editor. Now, Delete the old collision entry that matches our model name and replace it with the new one we just created. Once that's done, our DFF and COL files are ready to go. As for the textures, we'll now add them to the TXD file using magic.txt. It's a quick and easy step. Just drag and drop your texture files into the TXD editor, save, and you're done. Step 9. Moving the files and launching the game. Now that our model, collision, and texture files are ready, it's time to add them to the game. I recommend using the mod loader installation method. It's much easier and more organized. Just create a new folder inside your mod loader directory. Copy your DFF, COL, and TXD files into it, and that's it. Your mod is now installed. 
go ahead and launch GTA San Andreas to test your open interior modding game. That wraps up this tutorial. I really hope you found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave your feedback in the comments. Stay tuned for more tutorials on creating custom mods for GTA San Andreas and MTA. Oh, motherfucker! Familia no longer trusts me.